in our next hi everyone in our next video here uh, we're going to uh, show you how to use data wrapper for mapping uh, for chloropleth maps uh, and also give you a little peek at carto.com c-a-r-t-o.com uh, which is good for what's called a time-lapse map uh, so the first one we're going to show you here is data wrapper which you've used before for charts and for uh, 3d mapping things like that uh, here you'll just log in using my uh, Gmail address and the password, um, which is on uh, your uh, weekly uh, class uh, uh, assignment uh, uh, sheet. So go ahead and hit dashboard once you're in. And go up here to the top. Instead of clicking on new chart, hit new map like we did when we were doing the 3D maps. And you did the locator maps over here. Um, symbol maps are right here, which are uh, uh, bubble uh, uh, maps and pinpoint maps, kind of like what we've done with Google Maps and other things before. Um, we're going to create what's called a chloropleth map using colored regions to show uh, uh, more than, less than uh, type of data. So I'll click on chloropleth map. And it's going to ask you what type of map you want to do. Is it a world map or a specific country? Uh, it has the USA broken down by states, counties, congressional districts, district courts, which are helpful. Uh, very similar to what you see in Google Flourish. Um, you can also go in here, uh, or so for our data, we're going to uh, map the states and uh, how many of them, how many coronavirus cases there are in each state. Uh, so we're going to go in and select USA states and hit the next button. Okay, and it does give you the opportunity to uh, import a data set here to upload a data set. Um, I'm actually going to copy my data, and this spreadsheet is actually in your weekly class folder. It's a CSV file, um, and it has all of the states and how many uh, COVID-19 cases they have as of uh, the 15th of uh, March. So this is data that's uh, uh, up, to, uh, up through Saturday. Um, so we're just going to copy this uh, and paste it in next to the value of each uh, state and just make sure that they line up okay, that uh, uh, all of the state data lines up. Uh, and you should see your map pop up like this. Hit proceed. And it's very similar then to what we did uh, for our uh, map uh, that we did before or uh, map we did before and, and also our, our charts that we did. Uh, it drops a little map key in here over on the left hand side uh, and I'm just going to call that cases just so it has a little title there. Hit return and now you have what well, explains cases there. You can't use much language there because it's kind of a tight fit. Um, it does allow you to select different color panels. You'll here be very careful with that. The first two work pretty well uh, for this one. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, uh, you can start getting down into some of these others and they're just kind of crazy looking, you know, um, it's not, uh, 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 you want bolder colors on the areas, uh, where you, uh, have more depth, which are Seattle, Washington, or the Washington area, California, New York, uh, uh, a lot of Massachusetts as well. Go to the annotate, uh, where you add title, annotates right up here. We're going to add in, uh, Corona virus US data source is Johns Hopkins I'll go and grab their link coronavirus map here. This is a map that we've looked at quite a bit throughout uh, throughout the semester. And draw the link in there. Put your byline on it. And again, this data is in your class folder. So if you want to practice with this player, it gives you the opportunity uh, to go in and uh, experiment with it a little bit. Um, on some, it allows you to uh, select or highlight the most important elements. On, on this type of map, it's already kind of done that for you, so it's kind of moved. But there are certain types of maps, as we had done with the Barry Bonds graphic earlier, where you could highlight a certain state or something like that. Um, this one's already kind of done that uh, uh, already. Um, so we've got everything here. Uh, we go ahead and uh, click the Proceed button over here. Uh, we're going to enable social sharing. 
and then hit publish. And you can get it both as an embeddable map, remember, and as a uh, ping file, uh, as a static image. Static image doesn't work quite as well because it doesn't have the rollovers and things like that in it. But uh, you have embed code here and then your uh, link here uh, for the full screen is right here. So um, that in a nutshell is how you do data wrapper uh, chloropleth maps. So uh, again, you've got this data set right here uh, up in your uh, class uh, Google Drive. So if you want to take it out and play around with it a little bit, uh, you most certainly can. Um, the other one I want to show you real quick is this software called Cardo.com. It's C-A-R-T-O.com. Uh, go ahead and see if you can uh, set up a free account with your .edu email address, with your UIC email address. Um, uh, I've heard that they have brought them back. I have an old one, so I've kind of grandfathered in with it. Um, if you aren't able to set one up there, uh, I can give you the login to my account um, as students have posted uh, past projects in here. Some of these that you see in here are uh, ones that students have built. Because um, these accounts are, the pro accounts are very expensive. Uh, but it is a great piece of software for doing things like creating time-lapse maps. Um, with a time-lapse map, you have to have a column that has a location, some data, another column with some data about that location, and then also a column with a date in it. Um, and uh, the one that I would work with is uh, Pothole Repairs. And again, you have that uh, data set too in your week uh, 11 uh, class folder, your Google Drive folder that you can pull that out. Uh, and work with it. And I'll just show you one uh, that I've built uh, in, in the past. Um, you can just upload the, the data pretty easily. It has a little up upload button. And when the data comes in, it always gives it in data view. Um, then you can switch over to map view. Uh, and this is your potholes data. It gives you the longitude and latitude here, the completion date of the uh, pothole when it was filled, when the complaint came in, um, so again, some more longitude, latitude data, number of potholes on the street, the police district it's in. I would have probably cleaned this one up a little bit more. The service request number and stuff like that we don't care about. Street address, you know, you want to have that in there. That's important data. Um, it has, uh, you know, uh, other things too, the, the ward, the aldermanic ward it's in. This is, just came right out of the city of Chicago data portal. Uh, and when you click over to map view, your data will begin to show up on the map. Um, notice down here it has this little ticker playing, and this is from 2012. Um, uh, these are all the pothole repairs. You start to see them come in here, uh, and you can see you know how the northwest side gets fixed first. You know that's uh, Rom used to live out in this area, uh, right out here in Roscoe Village, and you know the, these areas got fixed first, and then they started to fill in downtown and the south and west sides. But you begin to see these pinpoints come in. Um, to set up a uh, uh, time-lapse map uh, you go over here to where it says wizards and you start setting up and choosing the type of map you want uh, time-lapse maps are also called torque maps t-o-r-q-u-e torque maps um, and you can adjust again the colors in here that you want to on your pinpoints a lot of the same settings that you see in google uh, my maps and, and uh, other mapping tools um, the marker type i'm even using a round one i could also use a rectangular one if i wanted to um, and the key one here with a torque map is selecting the time column, and I selected completion date. If I chose zip code or something like that, uh, you know, it wouldn't work. It, it's got to look for something that resembles a date. Um, and it is somewhat picky about the formula uh, for that. Usually its date is uh, uh, month, uh, day, year, and, and slashes. Um, so I'll go back in here. Uh, you also can e edit the map and add elements to it. I can click in here, and as you can see, I had this uh, thing I have to go in here and fix because it's 2014 and not 2012. Um, but I can add all kinds of different things uh, in here. I can export it as an image, add elements. Uh, you can put little annotations on here. Um, you can add an image to it now, which is really nice. They've added all kinds of new things in here. Add text item. I added my little byline down there. Um, but you got the little time ticker down here, and you can show the uh, change uh, over uh, time down here. So uh, that uh, is, in a nutshell, uh, is, uh, uh, in, then you hit publish up here. That, in a nutshell, is uh, cardo.com, at least for the torque maps. It gives you a link, it gives you an embed code, and it gives you um, a, a link, uh, a, a different type of link uh, that you can link off to as well, as well as iframe code. Um, you can actually take this link and, and convert it into JavaScript or however you want to embed it. Um, I usually just grab this iframe code or use the link on the left um, if I'm going to share uh, my map. 
Um, it's built with a tool called OpenStreetMap, which is very similar to Google My Maps, um, but not exactly the same, but it's somewhat similar to it. You can see the backgrounds are very similar. Uh, you can change your base map, uh, same as uh, Google My Maps. You can do that down in the left-hand corner here. It gives you a lot of base map options. Um, it also allows you to change some fonts and other things under options here, adding search boxes, legends, things like that. So um, you can adjust, uh, make some adjustments to the map uh, down here in the lower left. So that was it. Uh, that's all I have for mapping. <clears throat> um, go ahead and uh, you have, you've got both uh, spreadsheets that work with this, both the potholes and the uh, uh, data for the coronavirus if you want to pop them in. Again, this isn't a, uh, a graded assignment, but if you want to get a little experience with each type, uh, you can play around with them on your own. All right, we'll see you next time.